All right, today we're going to look at binary numbers versus what your normal numbers are, what you're normally used to numbers. Why binary? Because this is the natural digital numbers for computers. It's the fundamental building blocks of computers. It's basically an on switch and an off switch, a one and a zero. So computers are built on binary. Humans are used to the decimal system, which is built on the number 10. What do you think, why do you think we're used to the number 10? Hint, hint. Think about how you learned to count early on. Okay, you've heard the terms bit and byte and gigabytes and megabytes and terabytes. Well, a bit is what's referred to as a binary digit. The word bit comes from binary digit, a one zero, a zero one. A byte has eight bits. And then there's a megabyte, a gigabyte, a terabyte, and so on. All right, binary is base two numbers, meaning you have two options, one and zero. Decimal numbers or base 10 numbers means you have 10 options. The numbers one through nine plus the numbers zero makes it 10 options. Okay, and this is the one you're used to. This is the one we're focusing on for the next couple of days. This is the place value chart that we all looked at in third grade and we're used to that. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, and so on. Every place has a different value. For example, you're familiar with the ones place, the twos place. So essentially it's two times 10 to the zero. Two, this is 10 to the one. The spot is 10 to the two. The spot is 10 to the 3. Okay, the binary place value is just the same, except it's using 2s instead of 10. All right, so you have 2 to the 0, and that equals 1. You have 2 to the 1, that's 2. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 to the 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 which is eight, two to the six, two times two times two times two times two times two, 64, and so on. All right, so if we had a one right here, we want one, two to the zero. Well, two to the zero equals one, so this number translated is one. Okay, now we want we don't want any two to the zeros. We want one, two to the one. Well, two to the one equals two. So I want just, this is equal to two. This is equal to zero. You add those up, two plus zero, two. Oh, now I want one of these, and I want one of these. So two to the zero is equal to one. Two to the one is equal to two. So two plus one equals three. So I want one, two to the two, that equals four. I don't want any of these, and I want one, two to the zero, which equals one. So I want a four plus a one, and that equals five. Okay, so now we need one, two to the four, one, two to the three, and one, two to the one, to the zero. So when you add those up, that's correct, 25. All right, now it's one, zero, zero, one, one. So we're gonna add up, we gotta, we gotta have a 16 plus a two plus a one. Okay, and again, the same situation. We're adding up how many of these multipliers do we want? So a 16, a two, and a one comes to 19, very good. Oh, now we got a 64, a 16, a 1, and a 1. 
64, a 16, a 1, and a 1. So you add those up, you get Now I need a 128, a 2 to the 7, I need a 2 to the 5, I need a 2 to the 3, a 2 to the 1. Okay, so this is counting 0, 1, 2 on the binary. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this is 9, 10. All right, let's hope we're starting to get a picture of it going forward. 